uh, we will now go a little bit north of here to Clearbrook. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, here in the neighborhood of Clearbrook, we now venture through the lofty woods and the shaded streets to the Abernant residence, uh, where we find ourselves at the breakfast table with uh, Mr. Angwin Abernant, Ms. Arianwen Abernant, Ms. Aylwin Abernant, and Miss Ardine Abernant. Uh, at a, a small breakfast room with crystalline windows, a small spinning elven pylon of pure runic magical energy, uh, small unseen servants, little air elementals, whisk uh, eggs and tea and other things like that to the table back and forth. Uh, you see that your father, uh, the uh, elven diplomat from Farnell, uh, uh, reads the paper and ruffles it. Uh, your mother, a professor at Hugh Dahl, uh, uh, looks her down at her tea and uh, goes over her curriculum for the day, and your old your sister, prim, proper, and perfect in her Hugh Doll uniform, uh, sits next to you. Uh, so at the table, you see that your father sort of ruffles the paper and says, Oh, ghastly business that. I'm sure this will come up at my next meeting at the council. It's dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. <clears throat> I hate it when you do that. What's that? You say a thing is dreadful, but you don't say what it is. Do you want to know? I don't know. Adine, an inquiring mind is one that sees before it the opportunity for knowledge and strives to move forward. Your sister, Aylwin, for example, uh, I trust that when she wants to know something, she will ask. That's the mind of a researcher, uh, rather than sort of the responsive, more visceral, uh, attitude of a practical caster, you understand? If you really wanted us to know things, you'd get us papers ourselves, except you sit here and you say, oh, gosh, terrible, oh, drat, what a thing. <laughs> and then I have to ask you, instead of you saying, oh, look, here's, here's some actual practical information that you might want to know. You see, your sister says, I, I get the paper on my crystal. Do you not? <laughs> I get it on my crystal. I'm not allowed a crystal because I failed the entrance exam. That's right, you're not allowed a crystal. Well, I'm sure if you, you know, kill a hobgoblin, maybe you'll... <laughs> what are the sort of things they do at Eggfort? I'm not sure. It's an honest question. Do you kill hobgoblins? I cast Ray of Sickness underneath the kitchen table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see your sister goes, <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> 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 Oh. oh dear, I mean, I think that maybe my sister is too sick to go to school today. No, no, children, no offensive spell casting at the nook. Uh, that's going to take a whole prestidigitation to clean up. Um, uh, Arianne, do you want to do that? Very well, father. Your mother <laughs> swirls her hand and says, Adan, I don't understand why you and your sister can't simply get along. Why don't you ask her? Why do you always ask me? Well, I don't know. I don't choose to examine that. I'm rather busy. I'm trying to complete this curriculum <laughs> right, today. Right, yes, of course, you're rather busy for me. You see that she looks over at your father, immediately ignoring that very pointed statement you just made, and says, uh, dear, do tell me, what did you see in the news? He says, well, um, the elven oracle has died in a shipwreck. Very dreadful business. On her way from Falunil to Bastion City, looks like a ship, the Cerulean, just went down. Dreadful affair. I'll have to be dealing with that. I'm sure the Ark Magi will have no end of talking about what's to be done. Terrible. She can't have been that good an oracle if she didn't see the storm coming. Adine! I... what you... why... You see, Aylwin goes, Now, really, Adine, that's much too much. <laughs> oh, God. Just say it. Stinks. Good sort of breakfast concludes. Your father gives you a very chaste kiss on the head and your sister. Um, so your mother gets up and says, um, I trust that uh, you girls see yourself. Uh, says, uh, uh, Aylwin, if you'd like to take the car, you can do that. And uh, Adine, I understand there's a bus that goes to Eggfort? I mean, other people's parents might have found that out for them. Well, I think this is a very uh, a wonderful time for you to apply some of your divination casting. Perhaps gaze into a crystal ball, see if you, the bus is coming to a certain place. It's sort of the thing they value there, isn't it? <sighs> Very well, I shall find my own way to school. Uh, you and Aylwin start walking, um, and you see that she looks over at you and she says, that was a mean trick with the 
vomit and all that. I don't ever cast spells at you. Yes, you do all the time. Well, mine are always funnier. You know, they have a ironic sort of. Twist. I cast Tasha's hideous laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Make a uh, saving throw, if you'd be so kind, for Tasha City's laughter. Oh. Uh, Would you roll? Uh, four. Do, what, do I have points to add to it? That does she, well? like, reverse it at her? Um, uh, that she does. Oh! Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, that's badass. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a fucking badass. I the school laughing like a crazy bird. <laughs> so cool. Oh, no. Oh, this is so, so cool. cool. I love On top of it, her... Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, make a make a. Would you roll for your wisdom save? Uh, four plus wisdom. Plus wisdom. Four is not gonna do it. Great. Uh, uh, you start cackling like a oh, lunatic. No. Oh, no. <laughs> I also oh, need to no. have you make a wisdom saving throw for your panic attack condition. Uh, twenty. Uh, uh, Eighteen plus two. Eighteen plus two. Cool. So you don't go into a panic attack, but you do start laughing like a lunatic. You see, she says. See, for example, I just said that my spells were funny, and I've turned your laughter spell back on you, with is both, both ironic and funny, which are the two things that I said my spells are like. And I didn't even have to use a spell slot. Isn't I'm that something? I'm going to learn so many spells to destroy you. <laughs> this is my only game going to this school, to find a group of people to destroy your fucking life. <laughs> you see, she says, I'm sure you will. Are you going to join one of those little arcane secret societies? Go. Ooh. I punch her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and make an attack roll. Did you use up all your spell slots on your sister? <laughs> <laughs> You just die in your opening. Three. Three. You whip your skinny elven fist whiffs right past your face, and she says, "She says that sort of." Pure brute physical violence, I'm sure, will earn you all sorts of credits at this uh, school for brawling. That's lovely. Well done. You see, she says, uh, Can I, before you injure yourself by trying to attack me, can I just be very clear about something? Look, she says, I. <laughs> it's awful that you got kicked out of Hudon. It's awful. It's. It doesn't reflect well on our family, but that's not even the I reason. Punch her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it again. Eight. Eight. She says, "Really? Stop! What's the game at this point? I'm throwing punches." The game is me hitting you in the face. <laughs> so she says, "I'm trying to help." No, you're trying to help yourself. No, look. All right, I just let me do. I'm trying to do a, a nice older sister thing for once. Can I? Can I do it? Can I do that? Can you? <sighs> Good grief. All right. Look, <sighs> Eggfort doesn't work like Hudol, all right? So all the things about grades and tests and practicals and exams and all that, that's all out. It's a nonsense place. It's all topsy-turvy there, all right? They look differently on the sort of things that they value there. So the things that really, really work for that academy are sort of things that would be insane to do at Hudol. I heard that one of the best ways to get into an arcane society was to steal a book from the restricted section on your first day. That that's something that they look at as, I don't know, some kind of adventurer's initiative, or it shows, I don't know, gumption, something along those lines. I don't want to take any more advice from you because you probably couldn't even get into Eggfort just because you're good at Hudol doesn't mean you'd be Egg good Fort? at Eggfort. I could get into Eggfort. Terrible at Egg Turn Fort. that whole school around brick by brick. I, I can lift you, it up in the air. You're and too put it back scared down. to try. You're too scared to try. I am. Proper and well behaved and well mannered. So I don't care to engage in this anymore. <laughs> All right, fine. Go on your first day, get partnered up with some sort of barbarian, go out into the wilds and get killed on your first adventure. See what I care. Good, I shall. See, she turns and walks away. <laughs> I cast Mage Hand as her back is turned. And I take the book. Uh, the book zips from the restricted, restricted section of the library. Uh, the book that now rests in your hand uh, is titled Wards and Watches, and it's an abjuration book. It's a very powerful abjuration book. Great. I very quickly put it in my backpack, and then I panic because I'm like, why am I doing this? Nobody can see me do this. My stupid sister just told me to do this, and I don't know why I'm doing it. And now I have a book that I've definitely stolen, and I can't tell them that I've stolen Please it. Please make a uh, <laughs> panic attack check, Vicky. Uh... Five. Uh, you <laughs> go into a full-blown <laughs> panic attack. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. You're... Wait a minute. You're... 
Angwin and Arianwen's daughter. Yes, that's right. I've heard such wonderful things about you. I've, uh, the, uh, the, the acceptance, the scholarship to Hudal. No, that's my sister. Hmm? That's my sister. Elwyn is the elder. You are Yes. The... Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I'm friends with your son. Oh, you see that Elwyn comes by and she says, Good morning, Mummy. Good morning, Daddy. Uh, good morning, Adine. How are you? Oh, I'm so well. Thank you so much for asking. <sighs> All right. Um, listen, I meant to ask, can I borrow one of your divination books? I have a test coming up and I'm a little bit fuzzy on some of my divinatory practices. Uh, divination? I thought that you were good at everything. I'm focusing on abjuration, but uh, there are some elements of abjurative magic and divinatory magic that uh, are not complementary. So I'm just a little fuzzy on some of the basics. Can I borrow a book or do you want to rake me over the coals? You can more? borrow a book, absolutely. I don't need it. I've already read them. Thank you. <sighs> very well, Adine. She lets herself upstairs. I can show you if you like. It's very easy. At uh, least for me. Uh, she goes up into your room and she says, uh, read them, she says, are these two library books that wildly overdue? And she holds up the two library books that you took out at the beginning of the school year from the library. They've <laughs> just been like buried under dust that you like never got around to reading. Uh, or did you read them? I don't think you did. I never I described I the books. Them. Yeah, no. Uh, 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 go ahead and make a roll for panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> six. Is that a six or a nine? They are next to each other and identical. Oh, it's a nine. Okay, uh, but it beats so it beats a ten. No. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, do you add your wisdom modifier? Oh, my wisdom modifier, mm-hmm. uh, which is a wisdom saving throw. So yes. it's yeah. So yeah, no fourteen. Cool. Uh, you you managed to calm yourself, Ooh. but yeah, these two wildly overdue books that you haven't read uh, are there in your home. Um, Oops. Uh, you see that she says, "All right, I'm just gonna borrow these ones. Thank you." She, no, 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 no. Borrow the ones that aren't library books. All right, here, she gives you the library books, takes some of your divination books, like your home textbooks, uh, and heads off. You see that uh, uh, that Aylwin is looking like kind of like a little bit like in her thing where she gets really prim and proper and very like respectful Mm -hmm. when she's like under a lot of stress. So she goes like, Mommy, Daddy, hi, I'm so sorry I have to skip dinner today. I'm out with a friend doing a little bit of uh, studying. These finals are coming up and I'm worried I won't get a perfect score. So I must away, I'm afraid. Um, Mm -hmm. I've gotten perfect scores in all of my tests. What's that, disemboweling a gremlin? I cast Ray. Let's take this on her. (laughs) <laughs> um, uh, you cast Ray of Sickness, um, she, uh, resists the spell. <clears throat> All right, quite enough, thank you. The door opens, and you see that Penelope Everpedal is at the door. Um, you see that, uh, Aelman looks over and says, Penelope! And you see Penelope says, oh my god, your house is so cute. Uh, they kiss on each other's cheek. Uh, Aylwin says, ta-ta! Why are you studying with somebody from my school? You hate my school. Um, you see that Penelope looks over and says, um, cause I'm a great sorceress? Why are you studying with a sorceress? You're a wizard. You see that, uh, Elwin says, <laughs> maybe when you're a little older, you'll learn. <laughs> Ta-ta! And- I think she's sneaking out! Uh, you see that your, uh, mother says, Elwin's sneaking out? Never, she's a good girl. Uh, as you guys are there, though, um, you guys see that, um, a woman walks into the party. The first woman you guys have seen since you've been here. She walks in. She's got like a peach shirt, like tied up to show her midriff and denim shorts. It's like beautiful elven uh, young woman uh, with like long hair kind of braided. She opens the door, walks in. You see the guy Percival says, ah, you're here. She grabs a bottle of liquor, smashes it over his head, cantrips the liquor into her mouth. Mm. I came here to fuck! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I, oh, Hell I, yeah! Can I, can I, Party is getting started! Bam! A bunch of fucking Egg Fort cheerleaders appear. Just like gorgeous women with like flowing hair and their eyes are like glowing. They just walk into the party. You see Purcell with a bloody nose goes, Wonderful! Wonderful! The party is started! I'm pinching my legs so hard because that's what I do when I'm overwhelmed sexually. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
you see that um, uh, she looks at you, uh, rears, and says, you're a funny little man. Do you ever play knifey fingers? <laughs> that sounds terrifying. Um, what, are you a little bitch? Oh, I love you. Can I? Uh, she walks right up to you, grabs the back of your head, and plants a kiss on your mouth. Oh, I go, wow, oh, just as hard right there. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Make an inside check. Yeah, okay. I also want to make an inside check. Uh, I got check. a 16. This is the craziest person you've ever seen. I got 20, a 27. Um, uh, you see that she um, uh, fully dips you, like takes you into like the, the dip position. Pulls your shirt down, pulls a little baggie of dragon uh, spice out, pours it on your chest, and <laughs> wow! All right, this is a huge old party, so I'm going to set the rules. First of all, one person invisible at all times. If you manage to stab them, they have to drink. <laughs> Let's do this. You That's are. That's the only rule. <laughs> you are I... an Adine sister, are you? Oh, you're one of Adine's little friends. Wait, are you Adine's sister? Elwyn Abernant in the first. Oh, oh you just kissed Adine's sister! Fuck yes! You can't do that to a friend! <laughs> oh, we're gonna cut back uh, real quick to... Um, uh, we're gonna come back to the Abernant home. You look and see uh, Elwyn's door open to her room. That you're not allowed to go. I fucking sneak the shit in that room. Mm -hmm. You see in the center of her room. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and uh, uh, make a detect magic or make an arcana check. Uh, 11? Uh, you snoop around, tossing and turning stuff over each other. You see uh, a spell open of enchantment spells mm -hmm. to a spell called modify memory. You also see a small thing in her closet, buried in the back of her closet. There is a small model of a ship, uh, a little wooden ship called the Harpy. And you see that around it are runes covered all the way around this little thing that are evocation storm runes. The Harpy, mm -hmm. didn't Wasn't that die? the spell? Wasn't that the ship that, that the Oracle went down in? Yeah. The ship that Oracle went down was called the Cerulean. This is a different ship? That little fucking bitch. Mm -hmm. I knew she was bad. Um, <laughs> uh, you start to get texts from people you knew at Hudal uh, showing your sister making out with Fabian. Oh my God, I'm gonna fucking kill everybody. <laughs> Everybody? I feel like I would definitely text Adam to come to this party because Riz is no longer having fun at high school since that uh, dream. I run downstairs, I show them uh, the picture of uh, uh, my fucking sister at a party, and then I run after them. Well, oh, that could have been doctored. Uh, you see, <laughs> uh, you rush away. I hate my parents. Um, I really just want to try and make out with this woman some more. Um, you see that uh, Aylman looks over to you and says, all right, necromancy. I'm going to put a death spell in this bottle, all right? And then we're gonna spin the bottle, and whoever it points at has to take it. How does that sound? Uh, I reach yeah, out don't. and spin the bottle. No! <laughs> I'm just furiously tugging at her to be a child. I'm just, like, just looking her dead in the eye, just like eye fucking she, 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 shit she, she, out of her. She goes like, you're a nasty little fucking freak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to find a similar bottle and sleight of hand and switch them. Make a sleight of hand okay. check? I pretend to like fall over while I'm grabbing Fabian and switch him. Uh, sleight of hand. Ugh, only an 11. Um, you go, the bottle fucking smashes on the ground and a skull made of ash and smoke goes and flies out the window and she goes, party foul! You're a little- Hi, hi! <laughs> 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 uh, 16. She says, where's that little goblin bitch? Party foul! Hey, I'll find him. <laughs> she says, you're that pirate son, aren't you? Yes, I am. We're gonna get keel hauled tonight. How do you feel about that? Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> you see, she says, Give me one second to go powder my nose again. Mm -hmm. God, I love just fucking letting loose. Ah! Uh, you see that she walks out of here. Um, I'm just furiously texting Adine. Uh, Adine, you burst in through the door. Where the fuck is she? Uh, make a uh, uh, you make a perception check again. Just you two. Oh, I am gonna use my nineteen. 15. Use your nineteen. Yeah. Um, you see a residual of your sister going up the staircase of like magic going up the staircase. Uh, I cast a spell magic on her. 
Oh, you don't see her. Oh, we don't right see now. her. Great. Then I fucking run up after her. You are you following? Yeah. You guys run up. You get to this door. Um, uh, the door is locked as you get there, but you hear the noise of her talking to ostentation on the other side. Okay. Well, let's listen. Should we listen in? Yeah. You hear. You hear. Listen, it's just a little bit of divinatory magic. Don't be a square, Ostentatia. Ostentatia goes, um, okay, I just don't know this Hudal stuff super well, and I don't know, can you just take my word for it? I would love to be able to take your word for it, but we just want to make sure. Ooh, make an arcana check. Shit, 12. Uh, a spell you don't recognize, a unique spell, something crafted by your sister, uh-huh. is cast. You hear her say, Oh, goody, you were telling the truth. Goodbye, Ostentatia. Uh, I break, it, break yeah. down the door. Bust I use freeze to freeze the door lock open. And... Uh, uh, you raise the frost. Uh, go ahead and make a uh, open, make a dexterity check to okay. get to the door. Uh, t- de- just dexterity? Yep. Okay, uh, 19. Boom, uh, click. You click the door open. You rush in. You see Aelwyn holding a crystal palimpsest in her hand. You fucking cunt. You fucking cunt. <laughs> Shoot. Ostentation is sucked into the palimpsest. She looks and whips to see I you. I punch her in the face. You can see that uh, Adine and Riz are on the second story looking in at Aelwyn, who is in a whole, uh, has just pocketed the palimpsest with Ostentation while it's inside it. Uh, as you rush out thinking like, okay, here's this like party, you see that whew, a silver mercury like liquid dagger appears in her hand and she slashes you across the cheek as you run. Oof. Here's the problem. Uh, Aelwyn Abernet uh, is alive with arcane energy and a confidence that makes you feel truly uncomfortable to the core of your being. You see that you draw your gun, as it goes right for her head, a circling miasma of runic patterns. <laughs> Uh, goes in front of it. You notice that your bullet does crack the runic patterns. It appears to damage them. Okay. Um, uh, she's got like she's temp. So she's good. got some temp HP or something. She whips around. Uh, you are fire bolted for a thirteen, so that would be six points of damage. Uh, and Aelwyn vanishes. What? She's invisible. Uh, can I do an arcana check to see what spell it was that my bitch sister used to get the fuck out of you there? absolutely may. Make an arcana check. Great. Uh, 14? 14's gonna do it. 10 plus spell level. Uh, she used a spell called Misty Step, which is only a 30-foot teleportation. Oh, she used a fucking teleportation. Teleportation. She's not far, though. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> okay. We are, we're up by a window, right? We, look out the window. we are by a window. I would like to cast Blink. So when I, uh, at the end of each turn, I roll, and if I hit an 11 or higher, I blink into the ethereal plane uh, until my next turn. Awesome. Dope as hell. Great. Uh, so I, oh. I, uh, I tell Riz, she's uh, teleporting. She could turn up back anywhere in this room. You should fucking hide. Okay. She can't, when she's teleporting, can she see what's going on in the room? The spell that you know she just cast is an emergency bailout. It is not a powerful teleportation. It's a quick, get me 30 feet away from here, and it can't go farther than 30 feet, and it's not something she can do forever. I think we gotta find her. Yeah, we gotta find her. I think she's running. Let me look out the window, and can I do a perception check to see if I can see, uh, uh anyone? Yes, which window do you want to look out of? The one right there, that I'm right next there? to. Right there? Go for it. Uh, fucking nine. Aelwyn's uh, right down there casting a spell, dude. Wait, what? Uh, you look out the window. She's literally outside? Aelwyn is down on the fucking patio oh. casting a spell. I'm gonna jump out the window <laughs> with my rapier out and just try to stab her in the head. <laughs> 26 damage. 26 Woo! damage. Yes, bitch, fuck her up! <laughs> <laughs> Where did um, come you, uh, <laughs> bam! You crash through her runic ward and slice across her arm. Ah, fuck! You little fucking freak, weirdo, piece of shit! <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> Wound Aelwyn terribly, and she vanishes. Adine, you see Aelwyn appear on the ethereal plane. What the fuck? Oh, that's bullshit! Fuck you! <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna tell on you so bad, and you're gonna be grounded forever. Uh, not if I kill you and your friends first. Fuck you, bitch, I'm gonna kill you so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I've wanted to do this my entire life. And you're not going to get to 
a sad ending to a sad chapter in a very sad <laughs> book. <laughs> so fuck you. Oh, that was cool. I was doing a cool thing. Uh, it's still in the ethereal plane. No, you snap out of the beginning fuck. of your turn. Okay. Um. Well. Uh, with Blink, you can only come in within ten, ten feet, feet. So you of can, where I was. You can so I'm going to cast Web, which is a twenty-foot cube, where um, Aylwin went into Blink. Also, not there right now because she's yes. About but to... when she pops back in, she will pop directly into where the Web is. Okay, the Web fills a twenty-foot cube. Yes. Uh, uh, so you're going to po okay. So ten feet on either side. Yes. Gotcha. Wild. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so you cast it here. Uh, here's the thing. There's a window here. I'm going to need you to make an arcana check to try to break through that window. Uh, I am going to use my 17 roll. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, um, that's so fucking rad. Um, Sorry I used all my rolls on me, but <laughs> this is personal. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. Uh, fuck yeah. Webs appear. Um, strands of arcane energy cover the battlefield. Aylwin appears here in the living room, immediately stuck in webs. Let's see what her fuck dexterity yeah. save is. You hear from downstairs, oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we can all hear that, right? We're like yes, kind of aware. I put my head and fingers through the ceiling in this <laughs> fucking... <laughs> She can't see it, but I'm just oh, flipping I know around. you're fucking watching, you little bitch! God, I fucking hate you! <laughs> Always taking my things, you're such a piece of- You're so annoying! <laughs> End of her round, she rolls, um, uh, and appears back in the ethereal plane with you. <sighs> um, well, at least when your web gets burned up by my elemental, I won't be there to feel it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll just have to see about that. It wouldn't be the first time you've failed a test. I really want to punch her. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to fucking uh, punch her. The initiative it. order. You blip out of the uh, oh. ethereal uh, plane. Can I actually... Uh, so, can I do an insight check into where I think she will pop back out? Give me an insight. I'll pose it with her deception. Great. You need to beat a five. And you don't. Uh, I oh. got, no, I did. Uh, I got a nine. You got a nine. <laughs> she rolled a four. I rolled a four, but I got a nine. Uh, you think she's so mad because of that web that she's coming for you. Are you upstairs? I'm upstairs, but you can, ten feet is up as well as... You can. Uh, great, so I would like to... Come over here and ready. And you can also, action. yeah, you can mo use your movement too as you pop back out. Yeah. Can I? Um, mm. Mm. I'll move and ready in action. Dope. Uh, where are you moving to? Come down to us. I'm not. I'm gonna fucking kill my sister. Where is your sister? She's gonna come and get me. Uh, can I be like right here in the doorway? Yeah. You want to gain some cover from the doorway? Yeah. Because I have Spell Sniper, so I can do my spells with half cover. Hell and yeah. I'm assuming that she does not have that. She does not she's have. she's a stupid little bitch. She didn't plan for this kind of fight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what, are you, what action are you ready? Uh, I would like to cast Dispel Magic as soon as she arrives back here. Ooh! Shit, <laughs> baby. She appears. Vroom! Um, go ahead and... Uh, you're ready to action as a dispel? Yes. So uh, anything third level or below ends, on the target ends, and for each spell of higher on the target, make an ability check, which is DC 10 plus the spell's level. So you have to make an ability check, DC 10 plus the spell's level. Yes. She has one spell on her, which is a fourth level. So it's a raw intelligence check. You're trying to beat a 14. Great. <laughs> Do it. No! Uh, you woo, bring the spell down on her and her blink. The blink is That's gone. Something. You're gonna get blasted, Adine. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna kill her. <laughs> <laughs> and if she kills me, so be it. She will no. be in so much trouble. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to need each of you two to make constitution 
Uh, oh, that's uh, not great. Not great. Oh my god, that's so many dice. Oh my god. God damn it. Come on, please. 18? Three. 18 is successful. Three and 18? Yeah. So you get like half of like yeah, a billion. Yeah, it's damage. <laughs> God. The sound of the dice. The sound of the many, many dice uh, rolling around in the pool. Riz, you take 36 points of damage. Oh my God. Down. Uh, Adine, you take 18 points of damage. Do you get anything from cover as well? Cover does not affect this. You see that uh, Aelwyn appears, you rob the blink from her. You fuck her. And an eruption of icy energy blasts forth from her hands. Riz is fully taken out. Uh, Adine, you managed to throw up a shield at the last possible second uh, to defend yourself from the blast. Um, that is going to... And she doesn't roll for blank because that's fucking done. Uh, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill my sister. <laughs> How did she stop time? I don't fucking know. Just uh, kill her! Uh, Did she do you have something? Uh, <laughs> oh, she has a clock. She has a watch. Okay. How does she cast right her spells? Like a little With a witch. Um, okay, cool. I'm gonna do a cure. Uh, I would like to use Mage Hand to pull the fucking watch out of her pocket. Uh, intelligence versus intelligence. Uh, Ooh, you, this you, is the story of your uh, sister. Actually, it's, it's spell casting attack versus spell casting attack. Um, uh, so she's. I'll tell you what you have to beat. You have to beat a nine. <sighs> I just rolled in that one. You reach out your hand, uh, and you see that your sister reaches up to counterspell and uses your own mage hand to slam your face into the door jam for six points of damage. Oh! Oh, oh, a little bit of telekinesis! I didn't realize we were back in grade school. Uh, you see that her ward had partially regenerated. You fracture the rest of her ward and graze her cheek ever so slightly with the bullet. I've been very tired of you. Uh, Aelwyn uh, vanishes. Once again. Uh, uh, but she's going to throw a firebolt at Adam. Adam, what's your AC? 100. <laughs> 12. 12? Yeah. Uh, it's 14 here. She still manages to hit. Hits you for 10. Hits you for 19 fire damage. Fuck! I am down. No! Shit. Okay. God damn it. Uh, okay. And vanishes. Um, uh, you see Aelwyn struggling oh, with the air elemental <laughs> on yeah. the roof. Paid off, baby! Dope. Uh, Finally, my wild. seductive suggestion. Aelwyn looks right at you. I'm going to make a reflex saving throw. You're reflex, to... you mean dexterity? Sorry, yeah, dexterity saving throw. You're you trying to it. beat a 15. Okay. 21. You take 14 points of damage. Ow. Uh, as a lightning bolt erupts from her fingers, um, she's going to use her movement to try to take that stopwatch back. She doesn't do it. Oh, it, oh, it the has elemental been. has the, the elemental stopwatch. has wrested the stopwatch <laughs> from her hand. You clamber to the roof to see your fallen. I companion. go into a rage. <laughs> go into. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Uh, Ada, you fully just lose it. You fucking like Hulk out. You, you remember like just braining Doreen with a fucking ladle. Uh, I am oh. going to punch my sister in the face. <laughs> okay! I don't fucking give a fuck about magic anymore. I am going to punch her in the face. Uh, go ahead and make an attack. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Yes. What is that plus? Uh, your dexterity modifier and your proficiency. Uh, 18. That's a hit. Hell <laughs> yeah! Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> I need you to be tell me. <laughs> so it's one, what's your strength modifier? Minus two. <laughs> Minus two. So you 
Yeah! Punch her in the face. Gah! What are you fucking insane? <laughs> I yes, I'm fucking insane. <laughs> you made me fucking insane. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need you to make another reflex saving throw or, or dexterity saving throw. Okay. And that one. Uh. Uh, 28 points of damage. Dead. Um, Riz, bam, hits the middle of the deck. You watch as your sister kills your friend. Lightning unleashes from her hand. I would like to attempt to grapple, uh, Eowyn. <laughs> uh, uh, awesome, great. Um, uh... Are you gonna try and kiss her again? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, you rush up. Um, go ahead and make an opposed athletics check. You need to beat a one. <laughs> I do. <laughs> you uh, rush up. It's not clear to Adam. You can kind of see their misty fears in the zero plane. It looks like Fabian just jumped your sister and they're like making out or something. It doesn't make you feel great. Um, uh, but you are uh, 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 tussling on the. Uh, roof together. Rose. Just stay down. Stay what? down. Not right now. Stay, no, I'm not trying to do that. I just, just give up. <laughs> um, Adine, you snap out of the ethereal plane. Uh, I would like to cast Tasha's hideous laughter on my sister. And as oh, she's yeah. grappled and maybe doesn't know what's happening, do I get advantage on that roll, maybe? Or would she get disadvantage she on her gets save? Her disadvantage on her save, which is a wisdom saving throw. Um, I think on attack spells you would get advantage. But, yeah, she, she's prone. I don't think she gets a disadvantage here. I'm gonna roll. What's the DC on this? It's my DC, so 15. Uh, let's bring out the Box of Doom. Box of Doom is used for important roles here on Fantasy High. Aylwin Abernant, sister of Adine Abernant, is about to make a saving throw against Tasha's hideous laughter. Party's at low hit points. Riz is down. Many have already dropped. She gets a plus four to this roll. If she rolls an 11 or higher, she succeeds. If she rolls a 10 or lower, she fails. Eight. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. You see, yeah, you laugh, bitch. You fucking laugh. <laughs> you see, uh, you see, as Aelwyn grapples with Fabian, uh, she turns and you boom, manifest out of the ethereal plane. <laughs> Spell energy blasts towards her. You see that she goes. <laughs> Are you casting? You're casting Tasha's hideous. Laughter. <laughs> Spell would it work on me in a million fucking <laughs> It's such a stupid spell. You cast it on me on your first day. I and then I I did I, 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 Oh my god, Judo Boys, do you see that she fall she fell for Tasha's hideous laughter? <laughs> Landing in their flight and levitation, all the Hugh doll boys surround her. Oh my! A first level spell! No, 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 that won't do at all! Uh, you see that she goes, <laughs> You see that all of them turn to look at you and say, Were you able to subject Aylwin Abernant to a simple elementary enchantment? Adine Abernant, how do you do? <laughs> uh, my name's Percival. Uh, my name's Hector. Uh, my name's Walter. Hello. Hi, very nice to meet you. Well, that's rather remarkable. You see that Aeolus is just going. <laughs> um, all of the elementals begin to disappear and vanish as she loses control of her spells. Um, I'm going to need. Uh, uh, I'm like crying a little bit because I finally fucking bested her. Yes. Uh, uh, she's like clawing at her hair. <laughs> it's not funny at all. Pretty funny. <laughs> no. Pretty funny. Guess what else is funny? And then I reach into her pocket and pull out the palimpsest. <laughs> Oops, bitch. 
Sure. Aylwin Abernet is laughing hysterically. Uh, and you guys are surrounded by Hudal students that are stopping here and flying and psh, spells are going off. Percival Neville Smythe stops and says, My goodness, what an absolutely smashing use of Tasha's hideous laughter. <laughs> it looked from what I could see, obviously time and its movement had been somewhat subjected to a transmutational effect, that you had rather a terrible conflict. The, the combat seemed quite gregarious. Yeah. No need for that. Uh, we already trashed these men's houses. Uh, uh, I think first of all, we need to make sure that Aylwin cannot do any more magic. <laughs> so uh, I would like to pull I'm an old person a sock and shove it into her mouth. Cool, we can do that too. And then <laughs> tie up her hands in such a way that her fingers are also yeah. not. Yeah, Able let her baby and tie her up. Yeah. Isn't she wearing like let a little crop top or something? So, uh, she is. She has a sort of shirt tied to midriff. I'm gonna create a minor illusion to um, make it look like she has a little fat fold to try and make her feel better. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see all the Hudal kids start going like, well, as per usual, a Hudal house party has ended in elemental chaos and destruction. <laughs> yes, it has. Do these cheerleaders come to your parties a lot and cause trouble? Uh, the young women at our school hold their own parties that are obfuscated from divination and they don't invite us. Mm -hmm. So we pay Aylwin Abernant to come and create these elemental cheerleaders so that the party is not a sausage festival. Will you <laughs> uh, say that again, but to my parents? What's that? Will you tell that to my parents? I oh, can I take out a crystal and record what he's yes, saying? Yes, please do. I take out a crystal and I say, just say it again. As I've just previously stated, yeah. mm -hmm. myself and my friends are repugnant to those of the fairer sex in our school. No, 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 not insulting mm -hmm. yourself. Talk about her <laughs> sister having parties. Ah, very well. <laughs> so, uh, in order for our parties to not be such a sausage festival, <laughs> we have paid Aylwin Abernant to come here, sell us drugs and liquor, and create elemental cheerleaders that we might kiss upon the mouth and dance oh. with uh isn't that a thing that is against school rules the kind of thing that might get you kicked out of school hmm well to that i would simply say <laughs> gone the hudal students start disappearing this could have been your life at a wait, wait, wait do we have the crystal that that girl yeah had? can we it's in, search it's in a dine's for... pocket it's yeah. in Aylin's oh pocket, so. i would like to Thaumaturgy myself into some sort of demonic goddess, look <laughs> Elwyn in the eye, and uh, use my whispers of terror on her to intimidate her. Uh, go ahead and give me that intimidate. Do I get, uh, do I get, because uh, it's whispers of terror, do I get, like, advantage or anything? Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't even need it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, at least. I would like to thaumaturgy and be behind her with matching eyes. <laughs> 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 I got a 24. Uh, you got a 24. Yeah. Uh, uh, you see... Aylwin looks up at you, uh, terrified. She's been restrained. She's been fully defeated. Uh, she looks up at uh, her sister, who's hit her with this spell. Uh, looks terrified. I take one of my, um, I take one of my <laughs> nails that's been filed to look like those vampire nails, because I did that in the, uh, in the time we had. I brush her hair out of her eye, and I say, Where do you and your bitches party? <laughs> They party here. <laughs> no, they have a different Um, you see, Aylwin goes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, this is right. The sock. Mm. We have to take the sock mm -hmm. out of her mouth. Pull the sock. She's out. gonna cast a spell. <sighs> I party here. I get paid to come here, as the young student said. This is where I go. So you don't even go to the fun party? What a waste. I'm so sorry, sir, and I think that you might want to call the police because I have very bad news. Your daughter is unfortunately trapped in this crystal. And this girl did it. Do cool, let's ask Ellen. Um, yes, Ellen, why, 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 are are you putting, putting... why are you putting girls in the diamonds? I'm still intimidating her. Whispers of terror. I'm whispering in her ear. You see, she says, this was my first try. Where did you get the idea to do it? Oh, can I do an Penelope insight check? Sure. 
I, I can't get lower than an 8 because of my thing. <laughs> so I got like a 10. I think oh, I got a uh, 24. Great. Insight. Um, you see your sister looks at you and says, I think you all well know where I got the idea from. Was it Johnny Spells? No, was it Penelope Coach Clearwater? Coach Daybreak. Penelope Clearwater? Oh, you really have no idea. Oh was goodness. it my dad? Or well, do we have all the ideas we your need and we're just waiting for you to come clean so that we don't kick your fucking ass? If you're going to kill me, just kill me. We're not going to I'm kill, you. Going kill you. you. We're just going to make you go to Mumples, which is much yeah. worse. You can't make me go to Mumple. I don't oh, see why not. We we'll fit in perfectly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you can learn to be an innkeeper or a shopkeeper. Or um, a... Can I Can I say, hey, um, don't you in your jacket have that Mumple school uniform oh, in your size? Oh, I do. I have exactly that. Yes. No, 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 no. I won't go. Listen. Look. I can't tell you. I don't. Go to my room back at the house. Mm -hmm. I literally can't tell you. You, with your insight check, see a look of genuine fear in her eyes. And Has somebody cast something on you? She looks over at Aelwyn. A car pulls up. Angwin and Arianwyn step out. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Uh, you see that she... Uh, Such warmth. Here I am. Here I am. Yeah. Uh, you see that Ang when your father steps up and says, I'm so very sorry. There's been a misunderstanding. Myself and my children are uh, covered by diplomatic immunity. Please release my daughter at <gasps> once. This is so fucked up. Yes, but she's going to get in trouble, though, isn't she? She put a girl in a, in a palimpsest. What, what kind she of... She came thing? to a party. I'm not allowed to go to... She's not allowed to go to parties. She said she was going to study. Well, there's no way of knowing that she wasn't here to study, Ada. She wasn't. Is there any proof of that? Oh, yes, we, we, have video. we have a video. Okay. Oh, yes. I, play the, I play the thing of the little kid talking. Well, I don't know that little human. Check her room when you, you get see home. Hudal. Um, hey, uh, can I pull Ad uh, Adan aside? Um, hey, should we steal your parents' car and go back to your house before they get there? Because they're definitely going to clean up after your sister. I mean, why don't we just yeah, get on the bike? I'm awesome. Just go? I'm I mean, awesome the three of us could sit on this, fit on the bike and then... Yeah, go. Yeah. You get in a backpack and you then... You guys go. Yeah. I have one last uh, way to see, gather a little intel. Detective Gutgak is speaking to Angwin who says, uh, excuse me, uh, madam, if you would care to... You see the she looks and says, we've met, sir. I was in your home earlier tonight. I'm so bright red with embarrassment mm. and anger. He, uh, he looks at her and says, release my daughter from these handcuffs at once. You see that your mom gets a look in her eye, like this goblin look, like her pupils like slit a mm. little bit. And she says, well, sir, uh, your diplomatic immunity obviously comes from your position as a diplomat and extends to your family. However, diplomatic immunity can be revoked if any member of that diplomat's family feels unsafe in the presence of said individual. I feel unsafe. Oh, well, we got to take her in for custody. Thank you, young madam. Uh, you see that she grabs Aylwin, like jumps up to grab the back of her head and like puts it into the cruiser, throws her in the back, slams the door. You see that your father turns and says, what have you done? A, a, a member of this family in a, in a, a goblin's jail cell? She tried to murder me. I, 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 be that as it, you, you let her go at once. Unapprehend that young woman. Uh, you see that <laughs> your mom turns, looks at him and says, uh, your eminency, with all due respect, suck my dick. Fuck you. <laughs> if you have any problems, you can come downtown. Or I can ask your daughter if you make her feel unsafe. Nice. As she's loaded into the cruiser, right before the door closes, she looks over at you and goes, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. cool. Fabian, no. Fabian, we need to go. Sorry. Yes, yes. Uh, on my motorbike, let's go. It's not okay. Those who go to the Abernant home, you arrive there ostensibly a few, like a minute or two before your parents are going to head home. Uh, what do you guys do when you arrive there? Go so straight to, to Aylwin's room. room. Yes. You go to Aylwin's room. And go ahead and anyone who's here make an investigate check. Is what I'm You're supposed to do. Please do it. Drive it high, baby. 24. 
Nat 20 and a 24. Yeah. 12. Um, <laughs> Riz, um, Riz, you discover tons and tons of drugs, money hidden under the bed. <laughs> oh uh, there's like handcuffs. You see there's a couple of loaded guns. Oh, God. Uh, wow. Just Matt, you carry one. Uh, can, I, uh, can I take those handcuffs? <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely meant it. I don't even know you right now, Matt. Uh, it's weird. Nothing sexual found here. Uh, you guys, uh, what you find is in the books. You find inside of Aylwin's spell books, mm -hmm. the spell you saw before, Modify Memory. You see another spell, Conjure Elemental. Mm -hmm. You see another spell that it looks like Aylwin has researched and crafted herself mm -hmm. with your notes on the margins of it, things that she's copied from your divination books. Uh -huh. The spell has a very disturbing name. It is called Detect Maiden. Ew. Detect Maiden. So she can tell people a virgins? Ew! Oh! It's not so bad to be a virgin, No, right? I know, but why no, do you want to know? You detect no them? one who's detecting maidens is a maiden, you're not by here. the way. <laughs> oh, well, you're right. I should have fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I had a crazy dream where um, my babysitter, who is missing, uh, was said that she was her time was running up. So I think this is all, this is all bad. All right. Well, I mean, is there anything else to collect? I mean, otherwise we yeah, can. What else? Riz, you also find that little runic thing around the ship in the closet okay. that Adine found earlier. The uh, harpy. Yeah. Do you know anything about these little? Rings I or anything? don't, um, can I cast Detect Magic on it? I don't think, oh, can I cast Identify on it? <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> An effigy used in the casting of long-range evocation spells. This storm summoning sigil uses a carving of the object meant to be ensorcelled that has been made to look as though it is the larger object. The wood used in this rendering of the harpy was taken from the actual harpy itself, making the spell almost impossible to avoid. Notice the runes around the outside of the evocation spell also include an element of illusion magic to hide the spell from powerful diviners, such as prophets and oracles. <gasps> oracles? How... Do, is there a timing on it? Does it say when the spell is going to hit the harpy? It appears it already has. The date in question, September 1st of last year. This has been another use of the Identify spell. I mean... Uh, but but the, the, the ship that went down wasn't the harpy, it was the Cerulean. Unless there was some sort of trickery involved, which I guess is also... A lot of stuff was happening is trickery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. You guys walk out the front door to your two parents coming up the garden path. You see, your father says, it's a very brilliant move at that house, Adine. A diplomat's child cannot be taken into custody. It is an insult to the nation of Valinel. There will be consequences for this. Drastic consequences. Your foolishness. Taking Aylwin she is your sister. You have treated me like a second-class citizen in this house for as long as I remember. She has been treated like some sort of golden child, and she is no better than me, and in fact is in many ways worse. She's putting children in crystals. She has a spell called Detect Maiden. That's creepy. I understand that sisters are jealous, but maybe if you... Applied yourself to your studies a little more. I cast invisibility on myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your father looks around. Oh, she's teleported away. That's fine. And he walks up the garden path. Your <laughs> goodbye. Your mother. <laughs> your mother stays. You're, I don't know if you're still here. Your father was never very good at recognizing spells. He's not a very talented practical caster. I believe you, and I'm very sorry. You see a little tear forms in your mom's eye, and she walks into the house. <laughs> so I go in. You walk in as Penelope. Um, 
Hi, I like heard that, um, I heard that Aylwin was here. Can I speak with Aylwin? You see there's a sort of thick neck, half work guy and kind of a highway cop get up, looks at you and says, uh, oh, the uh, Aylwin Abernant? Yeah. Yeah, uh, she's not accepting visitors right now. She would be if she knew it was me. Okay. I think you're going to want to talk to Aylwin, and um, if you need, I could bring Mr. Ever Petal down here. Rich girl. All right. Um, you see that he gets up, uh, says, come on with me. Okay. Um, he leads you into this uh, room <laughs> where you see that Aylwin is all done up in, you know, chains, She's sitting on a bench in a little jail cell. It's like a general holding thing. Uh, you see the cop walks you back and then just sort of stands there. Like, what happened? She looks up at you. Uh, make a deception check. I have advantage, right? Because I'm an actor. You do. I have the actor feet. Well, that's going to be a 29 or a... How do you roll so well? <laughs> or a 26. I have plus what? 11 to deception. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, and advantage on it. You see, she looks up at you and says, My little sister and her friends caught me. Did you get her? Where is she? Where is the crystal? She see, she looks at the cop standing right next to you and says, The evidence locker, I imagine. They caught you? Yes. He is not going to be happy. I know. What are you going to tell him? I don't imagine I'll be saying much of anything to anyone. <sighs> Do you want me to go to talk to him? Yes, I think you should. Okay. Do you know? <laughs> 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 Shit, um, my crystal is actually dead. Do you have his? Do you know where he lives? My crystal fucking died because I've been running around all night trying to find you. I don't. My crystal's not. You don't, I don't have anything on me anymore. But I'm saying, where, like, where is he tonight? You know that I don't know. How did he get in touch with you? You got in touch with me. Cool. I need to use a bathroom. Uh, can I detect magic on the um, things that got conjured? Uh, yes, you can. Um, go ahead and give me an Arcana check. Great. I can do the same thing. Uh, 21. Uh, 21, uh, these were conjured by your sister's magic. How the hell? This is, Did she this is Hailwin. Get out of jail? Did she Wait, say that Penelope that is the one that's... <gasps> Wait! That, I bet Penelope is your sister. I bet your sister's in disguise as Penelope. Maybe. But she's in jail. Yeah, so I'm saying... But she got out. Maybe. I hate oh, her I, so I also much. didn't tell you guys that Zane... You oh, get should... a little bing on your crystal. It's an article from your mother being sent to you. A little news article. Oh, I hate it when she sends me articles. It's probably about say. marriage. Yeah, it's probably just closing. No. Just <laughs> War declared between Falinel and Solace. The government has discovered that an elven strike team liberated a... Uh, diplomatic family member from custody and Solace has declared war. Uh, that would uh, be your sister. So I think I maybe yeah. accidentally started a war. That would been fast. <laughs> right. They broke, they well, broke they her out. Should we, so they should we just... They broke her out. That's what started the let's war. Let's just text. Uh, you see the memory Biz has of downloading these uh, young women and there are memories of him deciding that this was a plan he wanted to do, that this was like his big evil plan. That memory is false. Someone, so <gasps> somebody, Someone change it, your sister. Aylwin. Ah, uh, fucking Aylwin again. God damn it! <gasps> do you know my sister Aylwin? Uh, you go and hit a, a place of his memory that's been sewn off. Only Arthur Eggfort or the Elven Oracle are physically capable of removing the book from the restricted section of the library. 
all others would be knocked unconscious on their first attempt. Is your sister? The no, Olden I removed Oracle. it. You removed it. I so removed the it. Olden Oracle. I don't know. Oh, but your sister Dang. knew. Your sister knew. How did my became... sister know that I became the Elven Oracle? She must just know. Is your Sneaking family a bitch, in I hate a... her so much. And she, then she got you to steal that thing. Uh, and you're not rolling for your family, correct? Fuck him. Fuck him. Oh cool. my god. Um, uh, you don't get a- <laughs> They didn't call me, they didn't come and visit me in prison, they Your didn't mom help- kinda, They started a war to get my sister out and didn't come to see me I'm gonna even. give up half of mine for her family. No, okay, do go that. for it. <laughs> Fuck my family! If we're talking about all this Faye stuff and everything, and then... The Dane's family went missing around the same time, it could be connected. Maybe- I know someone who's trying to find- Aylwin. No, 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 no. Aylwin is definitely not going to help us. I mean, there's no. a. I mean, if we, if there's even a chance that, uh, you know, getting in touch with Aylwin I'm might. I'm sorry. You think that Aylwin will help us and not lie? Uh, it doesn't matter if she wants to help liar. us. It could, it, it, this is a lead. I'll help you break into a prison. Sandrilin looks up and says, "All right. Well, we'll have whatever Tracker is going to do tonight. But uh, what's the plan after that, gang?" Jailbreak, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not necessarily well, a jailbreak. We should talk to her. Yeah, so I, she's... Why do why do why is it that we think that she specifically will have information? I think we know that there's things in Falinel, and that we know that uh, the uh, Shadow Cat was an agent of Falinel. Why does that mean Aylwin? I don't see how Aylwin is in any way connected to it. I any think of your this. family might be involved. Well, I would rather talk to my my parents than to. Do you know where Aylwin. they are? No. So. I feel like the ball's <laughs> making a great point right here. Well, I'm saying no jailbreak. I'm saying we speak to her. Why don't we look in this hotel book okay. and, yes. and see what's going on there? Adine, you finished conjuring elementals. How do I make you look like cheerleaders? My sister was so good at this. <laughs> Looks like they're cheerleaders. Yeah. Oh, okay, we'll work on it. The woman that I kicked out of here um, made her way back out to a ship in Hullcliff, and I believe that ship may have been bound for Fallon mm. Okay. If she had the crown, would that make it easier for her to free Aylwin? I would bet. I mean, who what knows? What lengths to go to, though? I would think she would have diplomatic means to free Aylwin that she wouldn't need to resort well, to. Well, but they're no longer ambassadors. No My father isn't an ambassador anymore. You look into a room for a moment, mm -hmm. um, and you see that there is a large, beautiful elven chamber, silver and marble, sort of ambient light glowing from the white stone. Um, you see that there is a about 15 foot diameter, almost like glass orb floating. Mm -hmm. um, within that orb which is slightly turning um you see your sister um she is not floating within it instead you see that she is crawling on her hands and knees as the orb slowly turns uh she makes let me actually see if she notices you she doesn't um with the 23 you immediately see that uh Elves don't need to sleep, so it wouldn't be called sleep deprivation. But there are thick bags under her eyes, uh, and it looks like in the m many months, almost a year since you last saw her, she has not been allowed to trance um, and is crawling in this ever-turning orb. Here we are again. Here we are again. Here is here is what where I would like to hide, if possible. Let me know if you think it's possible is i would uh like to go and see if i can hide in aylwin's room <coughs> i feel like it's just the least likely place for them to look for me sure absolutely go ahead and give me a stealth check boggy can give you advantage on this great <sighs> rolled a two and a four so i got a six you run in there to hide mm -hmm. um you rush in boggy's with you you hear people coming up to the towers you go into Aylwin's room. Um, I'm going to make a little search check. Cool. Um, you go in there, hide behind the corner. Um, Aylwin's long blonde hair is like matted 
Uh, her face looks dry and desiccated. Her lips are completely colorless and chapped. Mm -hmm. um, she is like crawling on hands and knees. You can see that clearly she sh ha is at like five points of exhaustion and only magic is keeping her from going to the sixth and dying. Mm -hmm. um, uh, she moves through uh, to you um, and uh, this, uh, your role is low enough that she sees you come in and sees you hide. Um, she moves through. You see that in, there's a rush of people to your room. You see the young maiden, Kier, um, looks up um, and communicates uh, something sort of telepathically to Aylwin. And you can almost hear the message cantrip going back and forth between them. Mm -hmm. um, you see Kier basically says, uh, where did she go? Um, and you see that Aylwin responds and says, uh, she doesn't look at you to make that motion. Uh, she looks and uh, her response to the message cantrip is, however should I know? I see nothing. Um, and Kier moves to investigate your quarters. Um, Aylwin uh, makes eye contact with you um, and uh, casts a message cantrip. Um, she looks at you and says, do you have any spell slots left? Anything to get out? I have four first level spell slots. No spell book. And a frog. It's an all right frog. I cast Dash of Obedience Laughter on. I don't. I don't really do that. I don't waste one of my four spell slots. Um, Can you message us? Uh, it's only 120 feet and you have to, it's within, you have to see the person to... Um, she looks at you and says, um, anything dangerous like a spell book or something like that would have been left in the vault on the first floor. It'll be locked down by now. The alarm will have triggered it. The vault it will be one of the first things that has to go. Do you have, does anyone know you're here? They know that I was taken. I don't know if they know that I'm here. I only had one spell and I, I, I used it to get rid of my orb. Maybe I should have told my friends, I don't know. Did Mother find you? Briefly. She looks at you for a long time, shaking under the effort of continual movement. It's rather hard to gather one's thoughts in here. Mm -hmm. Um. Aylwin, nobody deserves this. This is wrong. What you did is wrong, but what they've done to you is barbaric. Uh, the, what limited moisture is left in her body forms tears in her eyes. Uh, she looks at you and says, Adam, I'm very sorry. I hardly remember anything anymore. I know that I've behaved dreadfully, and not... I know I behaved dreadfully to the world, and I know I behaved dreadfully to you, and that was barbaric and undeserved. I am very sorry that our... I feel a very broken person, that it took months of torture to make me exposed enough to say what I always should have said and didn't have the strength to. There's no apology that makes any of it all right. And the truth is that I feel so strange and addled that I can't even give you a better apology because I don't remember at this point what's real and what's imagined. I think our parents, I used to think that them treating you as an untouchable favorite 
and me, who could never do anything right, I thought that I was the only one that they were damaging, but I, I think that they damaged you too. I think that that's as damaging. They're bad people. Both of them. Um, you see that she shivers a little bit and says, Well, I think in certain ways they tried the best they could, didn't they? No, I don't think they did. I, I don't really remember. I... I they expected quite a lot of us, but isn't that what... Isn't that... Didn't that make us great? Expectation without love. What's that? You... Um... You watch her kind of go... Right. Sorry, how did this conversation begin? Are you here to... Get me out, or no? Yes, I'm here to get you out. Oh. But I can't get you out yet, because I'm out of spells. All right. Well, how many spell slots do you have? I have four first-level spell slots. All right. Where's your spell book? I think it's in the vault on the first floor. The vault is on the first floor, that's right. Uh, and you see she starts to go over the first part of the conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, can I hide in this room? <laughs> Is there a closet or something that I can crawl into? Um, you see moments, a couple moments later, that these guards come in. There's about, you know, four of them, and Kier is here as well. Um, she waggles her finger at you, um, and uh, she takes you into the room again. Um, what you see as you walk back to your room, however, is mm -hmm. that your uh, room is not outside of the range of the message cantrip from Aelwyn's quarters. Great. Um, you are placed back in the orb, um, and you, a few moments after the guards leave again, um, you hear a voice in your mind say, Hello? Aelwyn? Who's this? It's me, Adine. Adine, are you, he are you here in the tower? Yes, I'm here to rescue you. And I need to serve an apology. Thank you, but we don't have time for that. Can, can, you, right. can you tell me everything that you know about the tower? The tower, tower that we're in. There's a vault on the first floor. That's where everything special is being kept. And I'm scared. I am too. Um, your sister does her best to help you without being able to remember really what you've said or talked about to each other. Uh, Angwin is standing there. Adine. You, you can't honestly believe that there is anything to be gained from your stubbornness. I don't you have made it crystal clear that you do not think very highly of me. I can assure you that though I have made decisions you disagree with, I do not wish to see my daughter executed for treason. Is he speaking to me in Elvish? Yes. I'm gonna to respond to him in common. Um, and I'm gonna say, you don't wanna see me executed for treason but you're keeping Aelwyn tortured and alive? How is Aelwyn being tortured? She's proven herself a threat. She can't be allowed to regain access to her spells. She's not being harmed or injured. She has... It... Do you see, was she bleeding out on the floor? Is there a torture rack that her bones are being broken on? Adine, that's gonna be you. I mean, can I do anything? Um, uh, oh, I'm gonna message uh, Aelwyn. Uh, Aelwyn, get ready, we're, get, we're leaving. Get ready. Okay. Get ready, we're leaving. Uh, there's a vault on the first floor. Yes. Um, and she messages back to you. Uh, she knows to get ready. 
Ida rushes forward, hits the orb with dispel magic, and yes. dispels it. Thank you. My sister is also kidnapped. Can you? Can you? Can you do the? Great. Where is we she? On, I guess we. Yeah. Where is she on the earth? Can we teleport just, there? No. She's, she's like in the next room. Extremely convenient. Yes. And you see that she begins to rush out of the uh, rush out of the door. Ida runs in from the other room, holding Aelwyn in her arms. Nice. Does Aelwyn have okay. cantrips? Is she, um, how's she doing? Uh, Aelwyn's looking, uh, comatose. Oh, okay. She's looking sort of... So you're saying that she doesn't have any ray of frost that she can just pull out of her ass? Does after? not look like it. All right, well, you know, worth a, worth a go. I message her, wake up, you bitch! <laughs> I think I want to, like, as Adine's going to sleep, uh, I just want to poke her and go, Hey, Adine, yeah. is your sister still, like, trying to kill us? Because she's just kind of here now. I don't think so. I think that she's maybe... She just, they kept her awake for like five months. Okay, and yeah. And broke her brain. Um, and like, I, that's so bad that I had to rescue her. Uh, Ida actually comes in with Aelwyn um, and looks up at you and says, um, may I deposit this sister of yours in here with you? Yes. Um, you see, she lays Aelwyn on the bed. Aelwyn is outside of the orb. You see that her body is still shaking from like the strain. Can of I effort. hold her as we go to Aww. sleep? Aww. You hold her as you go to sleep. Um, and both of you are just out like lights. That's so sweet. Um, <laughs> Riz just slowly backs out. <laughs> both of you trance for the first time in so long. Um, and as you trance uh, in the night, um, you can almost feel your sister. Um, uh, she doesn't have any magic left and is too exhausted. She just was in this position for too long. As you start resting to get your spells back, you feel a tiny piece of your sister's abjurative magic, like the innate kind of cantrip. It's her abjurer's ward, like her class ability. As she begins to get her energy back from resting, you feel her begin to build a shield around you in the night as you both trance. Mm -hmm. In the morning as you come out of trance, um, Adine, you open your eyes um, and you see a very sick and shivering Aelwyn. It looks like she is um, not recovered. Can I, are there any kind of, like a hot spring? <laughs> or something that I can take her down to and just get her cleaned up? Yes, absolutely. Um, you go, there are some uh, elven healers who uh, wash Aelwyn. Um, and you I'm see- I'm gonna stay by her side. I don't wanna leave her alone. Um, you stay there, Telemine looks at you and says, we would be happy to keep your sister here if you wish. It's up to her. Um, uh, you stay by her side. Um, her eyes flicker open. She looks at you and goes, Had I? Elvin. Uh, we're out of the tower. We're out of the tower. Did, did we escape or did we die? No, we escaped. Oh, good. We're alive. I, um, I didn't really take care of you. No, but that's okay. I'm gonna take care of you now. Um, she puts out a hand and a very feeble shield surrounds you. Um, and you see she goes, um, I, I don't remember everything. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. It's okay. You don't have to do anything right now but get better. Uh, give me an insight check with advantage, if you're so kind. 16? Um, yes, 16. You see, like, a look of <clears throat> confusion or something in her eyes. Um, and you sense that, like, she is having trouble navigating her own mind. That there's something changed or different mm -hmm. about her mind. Um, there, there's something going on within her thoughts that is confusing and upsetting. Can I give her Boggy Told? Yes. 
And mm, can I, as a ritual, cast detect magic on her? Uh, yes, you can. Um, you cast detect magic. Um, uh, um, as you cast tech magic on her, there is a faint aura of enchantment magic uh, somewhere around her, but it's deep and well hidden. Um, you find it, only the faintest whisper of it, but there's something going on in her mind. Can I cast detect thoughts on her? Um, you cast, uh, detect thoughts, start to move through her mind. The torture has had a profound, corrosive effect on Aylwin's well-being, um, and her memory is really warped and hurt. As you're casting detect thoughts and moving through her, um, you see, it's almost like a vision to you. You're like walking through her mind and you see it's like a city that's been like <coughs> raised to the ground or bombed out. And you see all of these walls and defenses and like battlements with like magical arcane towers that have all like crumbled. And you look at these like intense arcane defenses everywhere and recognize like your sister's personality. Like, the horrible, mean, wicked, sarcastic, you see the wreckage of that, and it is like the ringed walls of a great city. Um, and you're walking through this weird, vulnerable labyrinth of images, and most of what you see is uh, like deep self-loathing. Uh, and a lot of the memories of self-loathing, you see like memories that you don't remember from this perspective of you being like scorned and chided and dismissed by your parents and actively like cast aside into like second place. Um, and you see your sister there and you, you never remember your sister doing anything heroic, interceding on your behalf, doing anything. But what you see now in all these moments is Aylwin's loathing of herself for never saying anything, this natural, like, abjurative instinct, and overpowering that, the thing that is more powerful than that self-loathing is her fear of your parents, of just not wanting to put herself in front of them. Um, and then that, of course, that cowardice feeds directly back into the self-loathing, which feeds back, 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 over and over again through as many memories as exist throughout your childhood. Um, a, a horrible acknowledgement that she was the golden child, and as long as she never fucked up, she would never have to face what you faced. In the center of this labyrinth, you find an intense magical charm and it's wrapped up and it's all of Aylwin's abjurations uh, mixed with that faint enchantment that you can see. And you get the sense that in that orb, they had been searching for this mm -hmm. over and over and over again. And you see there's writing on the outside of this and it says, Despite all of the torment and tribulation, let this be proof. I always knew there was only one person clever enough to find this. I touch it. Do you attempt to dispel this effect? Will it do, will it work? Does, does it seem like it will work without dispelling her own magic? It seems like you can, trigger this with a dispelling action and it will do what Aylwin intended it to do. Then yes. You are shunted out through the city. I'm gonna describe something very heartbreaking now. Oh, no. 
Aylwin's mind returns. The version of her mind she saved before all of this happened. You feel that your sister is no longer broken. The memory of herself, the version of her mind, using that custom modify memory spell, <sighs> comes back <sighs> as you are now once again in your own body, standing next to her, and you see a very physically feeble Aelwyn go, <coughs> ah, ah, uh. Adine, little sister. Adine, uh, you are gazing right now um, at your sister Aelwyn, who is still in her body, but is otherwise um, very, like, possessed again of her demeanor that you recognize. She... Oh, my. Well, we're in Falamel. That much is obvious. And... Do you not remember? I'm afraid I remember everything up until I stashed my mind away where those elves couldn't find it. But I'm afraid the recent events, although I'm not sure how recent the events are, uh, is gone. <coughs> I can assume because I'm in this nice hot tub and you just found what you found, that I am not in immediate danger of being killed by is that a fair assessment? It depends on whether I'm about to be killed by you. You see that she sort of looks around and says, it doesn't seem like anyone's casting any spells. So that's an exciting development. Feel free to Catch me up to speed if you I like. I need you to look. I need you to see. I need you to look in my mind and see what happened to you. Ah, you wish for me to see the degree. And she looks at her hands, looks at her like reflection in the water and goes, ah, I've been very badly tortured. Is that, is that correct? I need you to know what they did to you so you don't go back to them. Back to who? To them, to our parents. Ah. What do you mean, ah? Um, you should understand, Adam, that ah. <clears throat> All right. I I'm obviously at a disadvantage in this conversation because there is a great deal of information that you have that I don't. So, before I look into your mind, why don't you just briefly explain what the most urgent pieces of information are? I assume you retrieved me from some sort of elven custody. The last thing I remember is I was being broken out of prison in Elmville by elven agents. That was nine months ago? You've been kept awake and aware and unable to do magic for that whole time. And... Our father was going to kill me? Kill us? I don't know. It... Give me an insight check. Ten. Gotcha. Um, Aylwin... Do you have a bardic inspiration? Didn't I give you a bardic inspiration you didn't it. use? Oh. Uh, Aylwin looks at you, and as you begin saying that, her gaze kind of wanders over. Uh, she says, mm. 
I don't know, our parents are not on the same side, the both of them. What? There is a great deal going on that, um, that I cannot explain right now. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No. Point well made. No, 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 no. Your no. no eloquence as ever is legendary. I'm, excuse me for not being the most eloquent person in the world when... Well, I've apparently been tortured for nine months and I'm managing quite oh, well. Oh, please, I can't. <laughs> 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 I get throw up in the hot tub. Uh, <laughs> you guys rave sickness on her? Um, uh, oh, I don't, I don't have you to know, oh, Gotcha. Um, you see, she looks at you and says, All right. Anything that I can explain, I will try to. What is, I'm still very feeble, and I want to understand my situation to the best of my ability. What is most urgent for us to understand right now? Are we in danger of being found by the elves that took me hostage? Are we? I think it's possible. Uh, I think that we should leave as soon as we can. We're still in Falinel, which means that we're under Falinel law. It's possible that our father is dead. I don't know. I wasn't really caring that much. Rocks were falling. We needed to leave. He tried to kill me. Uh, uh. Yes. <sighs> what side is everybody on? Why am I always the last person to find anything out in our family? It's rather funny, given that you are a diviner. You'd think you'd know oh, things. Oh, yes. What? Very, all of the jokes <laughs> about me being a diviner are very funny. <laughs> um, you see that she says, uh, Adine, I can't explain why you're the last to find everything out. I think perhaps our parents wanted you to prove something to them before they entrusted you with certain information. But that's neither here nor there, and a great deal has changed. You are I'm trying to think how to phrase this. If nine months have passed, I'm sure that much has changed. And while I am very glad that I was able to protect my mind from the base, crude depredations of the Court of Stars and the Elven government, I am a little bit rattled and at a disadvantage. So, um, you have helped me. We are not currently in the same violent throes that we found ourselves at Ostentatious uh, Little Shindig. You have saved me, and I owe you at least a repayment for that favor that you have done me. Well, yes, and also the many times that you tried to kill me. If you don't remember being tortured, I don't know. I, you're... I tried to kill you one time. Let's not expand mm. it into dozens of times. Let's not rewrite history. Well, and you kidnapped a bunch of girls and... Were those girls you? That was you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Does it make it less bad that it was not me? Oh my goodness. Are the girls dead or are they all fine? Because we saved them. Yeah, I, I thought you were probably going to do that. Oh, you thought we were probably going I to do that. I thought you were probably... Right, you're, yeah, oh yes, of course. Listen, you're you've pleasant. met... You don't think I can do anything? Oh, pish posh. I, you, I... Okay, clearly I thought you could find a thing. Look, I'm not going to sit here and fall into your traps to give you more oh, compliments I'm than I've already one. given you. I'm the one setting traps. You met I'm... Golden Horde, right? Did you really think that I thought that that guy was going to, what, win? He no. was a dragon! Oh no, a He's dragon! A dragon! They're so, what, big? Oh my yes, god! Yes, they're really big! He's so big, what's he, he might... He's gonna burn things one at a time as he, what, flies around? So were, oh, so you teamed up with him for what? For why? Something of a lark. It's fun. I... I, I cast Tasha's hideous laughter on her. Um... <coughs> 
uh, she <laughs> laughs a little bit too hard and fully passes out. Just Great. Sinks into the Good. hot tub a little bit. Um, um, you see that uh, uh, some of the elven staff come over and pluck her unconscious out of the water and go, uh, uh, Miss Avenant, elven oracle, uh, oracle of our people, where should we deposit your unconscious sister? Put her in the van. All right. Into the put van. Her in the van. Um, could I go find Elwyn in the van really quick? Uh, uh, yeah, you find her in the van. She's unconscious. Yeah, can I do a cure wounds on her and try to bring her back to consciousness? Um, uh, yeah, you can go for it. Um, she, uh, you cast cure wounds. It d does appear to help her injury somewhat, but she's probably just going through another trance or, like, long rest mm. to, like, get another level of exhaustion. Oh, okay, cool. It can wait. Yeah, cool, cool. that's fine. But I'm um, to give her some hit points. Here's what I would like to do to Aelwyn. Sure. Talk about this for a frickin' divination. <laughs> all right. First of all, I would like to cast Detect Thoughts on her. Mm -hmm. uh, she's asleep. Um, so mm -hmm. um, I want to see what I can find um, about our parents that she's maybe hiding from me. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Um, she, uh, my spell save is 16. Mm -hmm. She saves against the spell as you attempt to cast it. Okay. Uh, then I try again. Cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. On the second one, she fails. Great. Um, uh, she is like unconscious in trance. So her surface thoughts are not mm -hmm. super helpful. Um, what do you begin to, like, push through to? I would like to find out about our mother. Hell Because yes. I have a pretty clear idea of what our dad was doing, or I feel like I do. Yeah. Um, as you probe deeper into her thoughts, so the, the thing that is looming the largest in her mind right now, um, and the thing that your insight check failed to see... Uh-huh. <clears throat> When she was looking away from you, <clears throat> over your shoulder, Kalina was talking to her. <gasps> the shadow cat was directly over your shoulder, speaking to Aylwin. Um That's what I was going to try to do. I was going to try to have her look at the photo and see if she saw the cat. Uh, and Kalina was saying, um, uh, effectively, uh, this is a very recent short-term memory. Aylwin's mind is... Uh, Sleeping is good because she doesn't know you're casting a spell on her, but her thoughts are not as clear as they would okay. be if she was awake and listening to you. So, so, and she's also in a weird, like, she's unconscious but doesn't sleep. She trances, so it's like a weird, hazy, liminal space. But you see Kalina basically saying, don't keep looking at me. Look back to your sister. Your sister's talking. Here's what you need to know. You've reset your mind and missed a great deal of information. Your mother is working for me. She has the crown. She's brought it to Silver. You, uh, she's like, um, get away from your sister. We need to talk about what's happening. Um, uh, the, give me an insight check. Can I give you the help action? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Great. Uh, 17. Oh no, 18. Kalina is speaking to Aylwin with an incredible amount of familiarity, as okay. though they have spoken before many times. Great. I can see Kalina in this memory? You can see Kalina in this memory. Great. Um, that's all the information that I'm going to get from this memory? Yep. Great. I also want to say I think that we need to keep a guard on Aylwin, because I think that she's going to try and escape us. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. How do we there. do that? What do we? I don't know. Do we have I one just... person. I'm a I'm a German Shepherd. I can just keep watch. I'll be her bouncer, like reverse bouncer. She can't get out. She got Oh wait, right, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm uh, nope. I am fully. Uh, I'm making a quesadilla. <laughs> yeah. I'm making a quesadilla. I'll be like, uh, yeah, I'm guarding <laughs> like, over Elwin. It's, it's canon. I'm sorry. Cool. Uh, I'm guarding over Elwin, just like ready to. <laughs> Tackle her, you know, oh, do some like spells, disguise myself as her, pretend to be a mirror, who knows? Cool. As you go into the van, close the door, um, uh, oh, you man. see that Aylwin kind of like wakes up, 
a little bit. It was. She uh, is still hexed. I think that it will course. still she'll still have disadvantage Absolutely. on strength checks. Um, goes like, uh, I don't feel good at all. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, you can do it. You see, What's, um, maybe you should go back to sleep. I don't know. <laughs> what? I don't know. This got sprung on me. I didn't really. <laughs> this is not the zone for me. <sighs> I don't feel good at all. I could. <sighs> maybe there's some water or something. What? 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 I was asking if you want some water. <sighs> I don't feel good at all. Do you just... Gorgug oh, puts his hand through no. to see if he can touch oh, her. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, You touch her head, uh, and your hand comes back wet like she's made of water, and she goes, you're cute. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, uh, I open the door. Anybody? Hello? Uh, maybe yeah, I'm up here. Yeah, my, my way Your back. sister's made of water, God and I didn't... Damn it! You're kidding. I'm not sure when it happened, but Very she's good. made of water. Um, uh, I'm gonna need another wisdom saving throw, if you would be so kind. Uh, 15. Your body <laughs> freezes. Um, on a natural 19, uh, you watch Gorthalax's gem come out of your coat. Um, by what? By an, in, by an invisible, literally an invisible something. Okay, bestow curse. I want to make that person have terrible gas so I can follow them. <laughs> um, you cast bestow curse. I'm going to roll, I'm going to roll a saving throw. That is a, uh, what's your DC? 17. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna narrate what happens now. You watch the invisibility fade as a shivering, shaking Aelwyn Abernant holding Gorthalax's gem and holding her spell book appear, appear what? before you. Uh, <laughs> When did this happen? <laughs> uh, uh, appear before you. Um, she was she was invisible in the van with you. Um, appear before you, and go. I'm so sorry, but it's goodbye for now. <laughs> what? And teleports, very confused <laughs> by. Just blasting ass against her will. I have a question. As she teleports out of here. Run back up. Uh, hey, guys, Aelwyn just fucking got away. Yeah. She was I don't all know if water. Have... Yeah, well, I should have been watching her myself. This is my fault. We held her captive for like nine minutes. Yes, I don't even know Honestly, when Honestly, that's happened. longer than anybody has ever been able to hold her captive before, so... She I has don't... Gorthalax in the fucking gem, and I don't know where she teleported. Well, another figure is walking with her. Mm -hmm. Um, Aelwyn, who is dressed in wood elven traveling garb. Mm -hmm. Um... Sneaky. Uh, sneaky. Uh, the moment your scrying happens, mm -hmm. um, Aelwyn turns up. Uh, hits your scrying sensor, dispels it. Uh, with that, twenty investigate. You know that the ritual happened twenty-four hours apart, right? So the ritual to kill Killian and the other one, which means either that Aelwyn and Arianwyn left, like while you guys were here on the first night, or that Arianwyn somehow knew to do the ritual and kill Killian, like the moment you guys rescued Aelwyn. <laughs> um, you find a small desk that has an ink and quill and loose parchment on it. Mm -hmm. It reads as follows. Uh, okay. Aelwyn is with me. You are betrayed. You have no other choice, darling. Come join us. Well, I didn't get this letter, so this must be to my dad. God damn it. Oh, I hate my family. Arianwen never worked for me. Aelwyn worked for me. 
The Shadow Cat put me in touch with Aelwyn. Um, but the night, uh, Aelwyn wasn't the Nightmare King's only uh, follower in Elmville. Mm -hmm. there Who was, else was? I actually don't know. The, they were kept secret because the only the only condition I could meet them on was if I allowed myself to be able to see the shadow cat, and I was like, "That's fine. I'm fine without." Man, being able you are to do so it. easy to trick into doing stuff that you don't understand. I am not easy to trick. Aelwyn was <laughs> right. You are stupid and easy to beat. Aelwyn said that. Yes. She said I was very smart when we met. She's a liar. She's a really big liar. Yeah. But Aelwyn was another follower of. The Nightmare King were a servant of the Shadow Cat. I don't know how it all works, but the point is this. The Sh Aelwyn approached me saying that the Shadow Cat had sent her. That's when I started to work on the Modify Memory spell with her. She joined with Penelope and Biz in your freshman year. Uh, the Shadow Cat uh, made the connection for her to join my conspiracy, uh, and thus was it done. You. <laughs> Here in the dark heart of the Nightmare King's forest. This clearing is filled with a red glow. You are in a prison orb. Standing before you are your mother, your sister, and your father. Your mother has just finished the spell summoning you to this orb. She looks up at you. Um, your sister is not making eye contact with you. She still has many levels of exhaustion and is just staring completely dejectedly at the forest floor. Um, your father has a huge swollen eye, arm in a sling, long sword, deep green cloak and traveler's clothes. With his one good eye, he glares at you murderously. Your mother, who has the sort of curse wound on her neck and on her hands, you don't see the crown anywhere on her, uh, looks up at you and goes, I die. It's good to see you. Is it? Yes. Very. Can I message Aelwyn? Um, Are you okay? What's going on? Uh, you message Aelwyn. Um, she messages you back uh, and just flatly... She was in high spirits when you saw her leave. She yeah. had a villainous escape. Something has happened. You see, she looks and says... Her eyes look up and meet yours, and she says, and mentally, mm -hmm. "At time, for once, it's better to just do what they ask. Please, the Court of Stars imprisoned your sister. They said if I brought the Nightmare King crown to them, they would release her." And they did not keep their promise. So you're going to bring back the Nightmare King because they wouldn't release Aelwyn? Aelwyn looks up and says, you didn't do a Duskmoss ritual to get through all that? Yeah, we did. A uh, Ariana looks at you and says, I think you may have improvised some sort of <coughs> hasty Duskmoss ritual. And yet here I am, wiser than every other person here, apparently. Arianwen looks at you and says, Darling, I know. Uh, she starts crying. She says, I don't know how to make you believe in this family. And I've never known. I don't know why you can't be like Aylwin and see that we are Together, I, I don't know how to make it clear. I don't know how to uh, tell you that I'm so much better than you think I am. Adine, I understand that you believe that. 
But now is the time to prove it. No. Not in the way that you want me to prove it. Adine, what is this? Love without expectation? What is that? What is expectation without love? That's what you've given me. <sighs> I'm becoming upset. I don't want to be upset in front of Your you. Your expectations are idiotic. Look at who I am. We simply don't have time. Angwin, I need to get started. Uh, you see that your mom uh, takes Killian, walks out of the clearing. Uh, Angwin steps forward uh, with Aelwyn remaining here. Uh, Angwin looks up at you and says, When we're done with you, Adime, if you have not come to your senses, I will find what is wrong with your mind, and I will change it. You've been trying to do that for a very long time, and I'm sorry to tell you that it has not worked. His hand crackles with light, and he says, perhaps I have not been using the correct instruments. Adine, you are suspended in this orb, uh, prevented from spell casting. Mm -hmm. You can speak, uh -huh. uh, but are unable to cast spells within this orb. Um, okay. But I can cast message, right? You can I've cast... Been ca I've been able to cast you've message. You've been able to cast message, that's correct. Okay. Um, you see... Angwin standing, staring at you. Killian and Ariane have both walked away. Mm -hmm. um, you see Angwin sort of stalks off into the clearing a little bit, and Aelwyn is left standing nearby, keeping an eye on you. Um, what is Adine doing in this moment? Uh, can I message Aelwyn? Yes, you can. Um, so I'd like to message Aelwyn and say... What are you doing? You don't like these people any more than I do. She messages you back. Adine. I... I don't... like our parents, but I do... love them. Don't you? They don't love me. Adine, you have always been, above all else, steadfast in your ways. Some might even go so far as to say stubborn. Love is something that has to be earned. It's not something... No, it's not. What value does a thing have if it can be freely given? The greatest value of all. A gift given without ask or want? Uh, I don't understand. I think you do. I think you do understand. Because you're the most defensive person I've ever met. Your defenses are so high, you chose of all of the schools of magic, to be an abjurative wizard. You won't let people in because you th you're you scared that if you let people in and they reject you, then you're not worth it in some way. I'm not scared. Taking cautions. I have tried to make the right choice as often as I could, and you can't make it in this world alone. You need to have... Aelwyn, I don't love our parents, but despite the fact that you have not earned it, I do love you. Do you hear that? I hope you hear that. Uh... There is no response from Aelwyn. She, uh, 
Give me an insight check. Fifteen. Um, if you had to guess the power of that statement and how much Aelwyn needs to hear it uh, is something that she saw coming like a magic missile headed straight for her. And she, you watch her eyes go glassy and you watch her fully dissociate j- j- just to not process that. She like is too scared in this moment. You see Angwin whips around and says, great deal of silence over here in this corner of the clearing. Uh, he walks over um, and you see that he um, approaches uh, and you can kind of observe him getting some kind of like sending spell or like a whispering wind spell, probably from your mom. But you see he walks over to you uh, and as he does so, uh, you see that he's gotten like a look in his eye. Uh, he glances at Aelwyn and says, daughter, the time has come. I need a moment to prepare the punishment that awaits your sister. I would like for you, if you'd be so kind, uh, seeing that she has been as recalcitrant as ever to assist her family, uh, kindly scour the information as to what her accomplices are doing from her mind. I'll be waiting for you to complete this task. And you see his uh, hand crackles with light again. And he says, Adine, after your sister rests what you are holding away from you, I'm going to fix you. I hope that you will be grateful. Although if I am successful, I won't have to hope for you to be any way that I wish. Uh, you see, uh, you see Aelwyn looks over at Angwin and goes, um, Father, <laughs> as much as I would love to see Adine suffer, she's, once we have the information from her, let's leave her in the orb. That's what she's most scared of. Uh, you see, her father says, Aelwyn, you've been given an order carry it out. Uh, Aelwyn says, right, but um, you see Angwin for us as Brown says, Aelwyn, now is not the time to lose your nerve. Do it. Uh, Aelwyn stands there for a second. Um, you can see that her hands are shaking at her side. Um, she I looks, message her, I'm, I'm here with you. I'm with you. Whatever she, you decide to do, I'm with you. She snaps her eyes over to you um, and says, Father, uh, Adine's just, she, she, she's a baby. I, she's, she's, she's a, I, and you see, Angwin goes, a baby? And you see, she says, no, I mean, uh, she, she's a, she's young. There's no, um, you see your dad, uh, uh, just raises a hand and Aelwyn flinches. She turns, looks at you and says, I'm so sorry. Uh, And she casts detect thoughts on you. Um, uh, What does Adine do as Aelwyn begins to cast detect thoughts? I would like to think about all of the times that Aelwyn was almost nice to me and then at the prompting of our parents did something cruel instead. Like, I want those to be my surface thoughts. I, like, close my eyes and that is what I'm thinking about. Um... You think of all the times that Aelwyn chose to be cruel to save herself. Uh... The last time you cast Detect Thoughts on Aelwyn, 
you walked through a like bombed out city. Uh, what is Aelwyn walking through right now as she sees a vision of your mind? Uh, I think it's um, our childhood house in Solace, which uh, is most of my childhood memories. I feel like we, we moved there when I was very small. Um, and it's just a series of interconnected rooms that's like my room and her room and my room and her room and my room and her room with each of these memories inside it. She begins to walk through with you. Um, I'm going to make my first roll. She walks through and doesn't push deeper, even though that's what she's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. She walks in, looks at all these moments, looks up at you and says, well, if you're trying to humiliate me, I suppose it's working. I'm not. We can make new memories. But these are all the memories that I have of you. These are the best memories that I have of you. We will live immortal lives. Do we want to keep playing these patterns out? I don't want to. Um, Aelwyn looks out of a window of her room and she wants to go deep. She sees something and wants to go deeper in your mind. Does Adine allow her to do this? Yes. She moves through the window and is at your memory of her in the hot tub after you had rescued her from Calethriel Tower. She looks and looks up at you confused because she doesn't remember this. They broke you, Aelwyn. They broke you. For what? For why? They're cruel people. And I'm sorry, but I don't think that they will ever love you. And they'll never even let you make your own decisions. You're just a tool to them. And they'll only keep you around as long as you're useful. You see, now it's becoming even more painful because in your memory, you cast detect thoughts. And there is a memory of you and a memory of Aelwyn going into Detect Thoughts. And there's the two of you that are here in the present moment that can follow your old selves into that casting of Detect Thoughts. Look at these ruins. Look, there was no rebuilding this. Aelwyn healed, at least mentally, from her protective magic, watches you observe in the destroyed version of her mind all the things that were buried and is forced to confront not only her inner self, but forced to confront the fact that she has always lied to herself about who she is and how she felt, has to confront the fact that you know that and has to now confront that it's all been mistakes, needless cruelty, and wasted time. She digests all of this, sees all of the things, her in the bed with you, making the ward around you, all the things she said to you when you were in the orb, and has to ingest all of that as someone who brought her old mind back. 
She will looks you, up. Will you be my big sister? I would really, really love to have you as a big sister. Um, she looks and uh, loses concentration on detect. Uh, tears stream down her face. She loses it, steps back. Um, as she does so, um, you are back in the forest of the Nightmare King. Um, you see um, um, uh, you see uh, that Aelwyn is just weeping, standing there, looking like having to reshuffle her entire mind to accommodate all this. Uh, you see Angwin turns to her and says, well then, daughter, were you successful? What are her friends planning? Uh, Aelwyn just looks up and can only think to just say the truth, which is, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't find it. I didn't find her, her friends. I didn't. Angwin kind of like rolls his eyes. <sighs> he looks up um, and as he does so, uh, he looks up and very well, Adai. <clears throat> Time has come for a new and better daughter. His oh, hand hell. crackles with light. He reaches out and says, prepare to be better, dear sweet daughter. Woo! Light races towards your mind as it is an inch away from the orb. The orb <clears throat> covers with an abjurative rune. Aelwyn stands with her hand extended Yes. Her face completely blank and emotionless uh, as the spell is counterspelled. Uh, Angwin looks over at, at Aelwyn, looks back. I cast Dispel Magic on the orb. Um, you cast Dispel Magic on the orb. Um, <clears throat> uh, the orb dispels. Uh, Angwin, it is Angwin's turn again. Angwin reaches out his hand, extends it to Aelwyn. Oh, counterspell, no. counterspell, counterspell. He counterspells your counterspell. Fuck. Add or on. whatever dice yes. rolls. You shatter the orb. You counter. Your dad throws up a counter to your counterspell with a bolt of lightning that races across the field. Uh, in Aelwyn's last moment, she makes eye contact with you. No. Just says, I'm sorry. And is hit in the chest and blasted back across the field. Adine, it is your turn. Fuck. Um, <laughs> I would like to um, cast Adine's Furious Fist yes. Yes. Uh, at a fifth level. <laughs> Uh, and I would like to charge my father. Yes. Jesus. Uh, your father, with zero remorse on his face, raises up his spellcasting hand and whips around to face you as mist and smoke rises from Aelwyn's exhausted, crumpled body. Um, you are standing in the shadow of where your orb was. You cast this spell at the highest spell slot you have available. Your fist cr crackles with white arcane fire. Your father turns around seeing a spell he does not recognize. He is 20 feet away from you. You sprint across the grass of the clearing. Go ahead and make your attack roll. <laughs> Uh, that's a 24. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, okay. How many um, D10s is and, it? And he rolls a four on his save. <laughs> so it's 10 D10. <laughs> so I look him in the face, hold my fist up to him and say, guess what, bitch, I'm strong now. <laughs> <laughs> and I punch him for...
77 points of damage. <laughs> Solid. Wow. 77 points of damage? Yes. As you say, I'm strong now. Adine, you have walked for unending days in the forest of the Nightmare King. You have fought the tides of the wide, misty ocean. Your strength becomes 14, which is an eight point strength increase. Your fist crackles. You rolled a 24 on your attack roll. On his saving throw, your father, Anguin Abernant, automatically fails. He turns, an arcane fist races. 77 points of damage is more than double his max hit points. What? Whoa. <laughs> your father, as your mother said in season one, was never much of a practical caster. Mm -hmm. uh, your father is dead as he leaves the ground and his body oh sails <laughs> 25 feet through the air and skids across the clearing. Your father Righteous. is no more. You stand, you feel through weeks of hardship in the time that elapsed in your vision in the forest. You never have to be afraid of being weak again. Your father hurt you and he hurt your sister. And no matter what anyone fucking thinks about it, guess what? He never gets to hurt anybody ever again. Ooh. You stand in the clearing as the <laughs> light crackles around you and leaves your fist. Uh, Adam, Amazing. Can I are... run to Aylwin and do a medicine check to try and stabilize her? Yes, you can. She is going to roll a death saving throw before that. Great. The damage was not enough to uh, uh, fully put her under. Um, uh, or fu fully kill her. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and roll uh, Aylwin's death saves. Uh, you actually don't have to roll the first one because the first one she gets an 11. Incredible. Sweet. Okay. So those are my portrait Ooh, rolls hard. gone. So her first one, she rolls an 11. You rush over to her side. Yeah. Uh, as you do so, um, you can make your first check before she makes her second death save. So you're making a medicine check. Mm-hmm. An 18. You rush over to Aylwin's side. Uh, you use your last portent. On a 18, you stabilize her. Aylwin is not going to die in this moment. She looks up at you as she begins to enter unconsciousness. Uh, and she says... I don't, I, I don't deserve you, and I don't deserve this. It's not about deserving me, but you definitely don't deserve this. But we can rebuild something better together. I think there's enough room in my room for a bunk bed if you want it. She weeps. She says, had I? I I killed all those people on the ship I killed the oracle Kalina told me that I would be dead if I did it I did it I worked for Calvaxis I worked for Kalina I worked for our parents you're a child they made you do it you I were just... bad people and they were manipulating you they trained you from birth to be obedient to them without question, and you were, and they rewarded you for it. She begins to, to fade, and she quickly says, I, listen, listen, if I can make up for any of the mistakes I've made, I don't know that I ever will, but the, the mistakes that they've always made, the heroes have always made when they've defeated the Nightmare King, the, the curses 
have to be do- undone, all of them, including the fifth. All five must be undone. And and there's a, she, she starts to fade a little bit. Um, you see- Fading, can I give her the tincture? Uh, yes, you can give her one of the tinctures. That is a very wise move. Right. You have the tincture. She looks at you and says, she's gone she looks up and says there's a sword there's a sword on father's side he stole it from the from the Luminelders it's it's supposed to be yours not yours yours but it's it's yours it's the oracles it's you see she says I see you don't have your orb, but but the sword, it's an arcane focus. Oh. I'll take it. You rest here. I'll find Mother. Do you want to know something, Adine? Yes. Do you want to know, in your freshman year, how Calvaxis knew that you were going to be able to take the book? That you you were going to be the oracle? No. I've always been rather a terrible bitch to you. But I did know, having gotten into the advanced classes at Hudol, <laughs> that they believe that the oracle, because it's not passed through genealogy or anything else, They've always thought that it goes to the most prodigious diviner amongst the elven people. Calvaxis asked me if I could be sure, and I said, beyond a shadow of a doubt, I know who the next oracle will be. I love you too. She weeps, clutches your hand, and uh, slips away. I had to leave Elwyn, but I... We weren't very far away. I feel like can should I we wake can her? I should we go? Can, I, can we get her? Can we go back to where I left Elwyn? Fabian and Adine, um, uh, you guys uh, rush back to the clearing. Um, you see, uh, uh, Elwyn is still there on the ground. Your father's body still there on the ground. Uh, what do you guys do as you rush into the clearing? Pick her up. Yeah, grab her. Uh, between the you, two of us. Yeah, do a little fireman's carry action. Yeah. Uh, Kristen, can you heal Aylwin? Just yeah. a little bit? Or Definitely, fake? of course. Aylwin, who is mm-hmm. once again with you, um, uh, speaks up and she goes, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before anyone rushes off there, the only way to defeat the Nightmare King is either to... <laughs> Look, let's. I agree. Let's run and try to stop them. If we are unsuccessful and the Nightmare King returns, we need a plan to break those curses. We need a plan to undo the transubstantiations, all five of them. They, they are what anchors the Nightmare King here. Even if you defeat him, you cannot truly defeat him unless those transubstantiations are gone, are, are destroyed. Aylwin the Hangman, Baby, and Ida come with you. Uh, yeah. Uh, Aylwin uh, looks over at Fig and Ida by each other, raises an eyebrow. She has four levels of exhaustion as well. But she looks over and says, Oh, dear. Do I have to, what, count myself as one of the, uh, oh, that's right, the bad kids now? No, definitely not. <laughs> you're not part you're of not, us. You're here be, because... Yeah, you may not have to push mine. yourself to Adine, but the rest of us are a little wary. Yes. <laughs> you see, Aylwin shrugs. Uh, Aylwin oh, hell yeah. weakly, <laughs> weakly stumbles up the steps a little bit. Um, she looks up, looks over at Adine, looks at all of you and says, I hate to think about the last time I cast this spell. Um, hopefully I can... Redeem myself Just at least. Cast the spell. <laughs> Boom, a raging cone of cold soars up the steps and uh, blasts the centaur statue and the little husk doll sprite 
uh, dealing a bunch of damage to both of them. Uh, and that's Aelwyn's turn. Tracker and Aelwyn uh, both uh, fully go down and are at zero. Um, uh, as this centaur just opens its rotting wooden jaw and bellows out this blast of decaying, moss-covered, rotten wood, necrotic energy. Uh, Tracker this isn't a spell, this is an effect. This is an effect, yep. Okay. Death saving throw for Aelwyn. Um, okay. Um, shit. What was, what was that? A death saving uh, throw for Aelwyn. If no one's making a medicine check on her, no one knows. Um, oh, oh, damn it. Uh, I have that, an idea, I have an idea. Okay. Adon, that's your turn. Okay. I'd like to talk to Aelwyn. Wait, is it not Fig's turn? Fig already went. Um, yeah, that wasn't Riz. Riz got attacked, but that wasn't Riz's turn. That was Killian's turn. Um, uh, that is going to be uh, Adine. You can talk to Aelwyn. 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 Um, okay, we're here and we need to be there. Do you have anything that can get us up there? Um, you're going to actually have to delay your turn. That's fine. Cool. Um, or if she has like a, di- I don't know if she has a dimension door or, or a thunder step or something like that that can or fly. Uh, Aelwyn says, uh, uh, stay where you are, hold. I can get us up to the top. Great. Uh, I'll hold my action for Aelwyn. She runs in between Tracker um, and... Uh, she runs in between Tracker and Adine and straight up casts Teleport. Um, oh. uses, uses her seventh level Sweet. spell slot. She goes, <sighs> waste of a teleport to go 100 feet, but... Time is of the essence. Um, you see that uh, uh, she never a waste. Very cool. Uh, <laughs> Can't wait to learn that spell. Uh, she looks at you and says, "Adine, I would love to teach you this spell." Um, high fives. Um, uh, cool. That's going to be um, Adine. Yes. Uh, the unicorn lowers its head and charges at you. Uh, I am going to need, uh, first of all, it's going to make an attack. Uh, um, that is a hit. Um, shield, I have to roll a constitution roll to do a spell, right? Yes, roll a constitution save, DC is 17. I don't make it. Uh, the spell falters. Um, uh, you do not have disadvantage on this next save, but I'm going to need another constitution save from you. Ten. The unicorn lowers its head, charges, and Adine, you look up and see, boom, uh, you feel its horn puncture the wall of the cottage behind you. You are dead straight through your chest, the unicorn has fully killed you. Uh, Aelwyn looks horrified as uh, Adine is gone. Um, uh, You see she... Uh, Aelwyn reaches out uh, a hand to the unicorn as it lowers its head, and you see um, this scintillating fractal of images surrounds her. Pure abjurative magic. (laughs) Um, She says, get out of this world! (laughs) And the unicorn is gone, banished. (laughs) Um, uh, uh, the unicorn is fully fucking banished. Uh, she is full weeping and collapses to the ground um, uh, next to Adine holding her in her arms uh, as Rog raises his glaive over his head to try and kill uh, Aelwyn. Um, that is going to be... And that and Rog's turn is next. Fuck. Um, uh, Rog is going to go now. Rog rolled a two and a seven. 
<laughs> nice. Aelwyn casts shield. He does not hit either time. Uh, you see that uh, Arianwen casts Ice Storm on her living daughter and the people close to her. <laughs> um, oh, Christ. Uh, uh, none of them go down. They all rolled very high on their saves, but they are each hurting. Um, uh, and that is going to be... Uh, that's Arianwen. Elwyn shouts out to track her like, my sister, please do something. You see that uh, uh, Cassandra looks, uh, you see the vans, the van with hands yeah. uh, scramble out of the woods. Um, Ew. Uh, you see that, uh, 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 that Cassandra picks all of you up uh, in their hands and they look at uh, Arianwen uh, uh, and they say, Arianwen, you came here of your own accord and you will leave as such. Perhaps you can get the vans to take you. And uh, you see that Arianwen screams as the vans start like, crawling after her. Jesus Christ. Uh, um, seems very character building to me. <laughs> character building exercise for you to get out of this forest. Uh, uh, no more see- magic. You see Ariel is running down the steps as the vans goes after her. She goes, Daughters, you would not abandon me here. Um, uh, there is love between us still. Um, and you see that uh, Aelwyn looks over at you and just goes, love without expectation. What's that? I have no idea. <laughs> Sounds good to us. Professor, yeah, definitely. Uh, Professor, Professor Principal, uh, Headmaster Eggfort. Um, my, my sister, Ah, it is sort of wanted for quite a lot of crimes in Solace, but I was wondering if she came to study at Eggfort Academy, if she could maybe just go to therapy and do some community service, and that would be okay? Uh, uh, Arthur looks over at Aylwin and says, well, uh, very recently, as recently as last year, I was helpful in uh, helping uh, one William Seacaster secure a general amnesty, and I see no reason why this citizen of Falonel could not be able to swear under that same amnesty too. Hey, Abernant. maybe she'll be a Seacaster soon too. Mm-mm. And then I look uh, at uh, Fabian uh, way too obviously. Uh, I mean, that you was think like Fabian's a... mom's gonna get with? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what? not going to no. happen. No, it's, that's not... Baby's I mean, mom and Who my knows? sister. Galeer's no, going to take Baby's mom's so last name. So let's not even about it. <laughs> it's too much. My brain cannot take this. <laughs> and he tussles your hair, and he takes a step and says, Oh, and I'm going to get some lumber from the hardware store, and we're going to get you some bunk beds in here. <laughs> um, uh, Aylwin is like... So... Uh, clearly uncomfortable with how moved she is and happy in this new home. Aylwin uh, uh, is there in Mordred as well. She's very happy to be in the room with Adine, but also feeling a little bit left out. And she's also past the age now of being a senior and is trying to figure things out. Um, you, you know, she's like, she's 18. Um, mm-hmm. She, um, one night in Mordred Manor, just uh, looks across the table at you, Fabian, uh, and goes, <laughs> did I? I'm so sorry. Did we make out at that party at Austin Tasha Wallace's? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we did. Um, and we were, we were going to, you said something about uh, keel hauling me, but then we ended up fighting. I did uh, some snuff yeah. powder off your chest, and there was yes. a cantrip for some. Yep. I think I tried to stab your friend. The yep, ball. we were playing yes. stabby, stabby knife fingers or something. It was a great. It was incredible. You were incredible. It was incredible. All things were great. You see, she looks and says, "I won't lie. I'm very deeply traumatized and I've learned that deep down I'm a good person but I'm trying to work on a lot of those walls and things to kind of get rid of that Um, and I feel like you're kind of and I don't mean this in an offensive way but you're kind of fucked up in a lot of ways too and keep a lot of walls up I killed my dad it's a like I don't know yeah it's yeah of course yeah of course (laughs) of course Um, I'm I'm fucked up (laughs) so I feel I feel like we could be really toxic in each other's lives in a very exciting sexual way (laughs) 
if that's something you're interested in. <laughs> I mean... Uh, not in our bedroom, though. <laughs> oh! Yeah, we'll not the piano room. <laughs> yeah, um, no, no. I have uh, my own beautiful, expensive bedroom in my mansion, so <laughs> I would love that. Um, uh, you see... Uh, uh, you see that she smiles and says, Interesting. Well, be nice to me, you know. You uh, sit at the kitchen table prepping <clears throat> your lists. Um, uh, is Boggy in owl or frog form at the moment? Definitely frog <clears throat> form right now. Uh, Boggy the Froggy, uh, Bogariel, Frogariel, you're familiar, sits perfectly round and happy to be here on your shoulder. Um, uh, and you see uh, your sister, Aylwin, uh comes down the stairs talking with another uh, member of the manor, Zane Darkshadow. Uh, both of them uh, happily engaged. Aylwin, uh, uh, I think, has in a very sisterly, respectful way, uh, is not going to be coming on the college thing with you uh, to, to uh, because I think that she uh, knows that the threat of you and her attending the same freshman class uh, uh, would be, she's like giving you your space to pursue your own interests, but looks up and says, uh, Adon, I see you have all your papers stretched out here on the kitchen table. Uh, you, uh, are you, is astral state up on the list? Is this, uh, are we like checking out a safety school right now? Or is this one of the sort of... This, this one is somewhat of a safety school, but also like, is it a safety school for me or is it a safety school for every... You, mm, you know, it's best to check out all the options. It's Once you know all of your options, then you can pick wisely. Um, she arches an eyebrow with that understanding that um, your father is extremely dead and your mother lost in a giant uh, haunted forest. Um, but there is still an understanding that in the manner in which you were both raised, you even going to check out a state school is a, a tremendous uh, middle finger to the, your extremely uh, well-heeled parents. 